Hello, welcome back. The title here is called Fractions as Multiples. This is part one. The driving purpose of this section is for you to understand that the fractions that we have been working uh, with, all of the fractions that we've been working with, you can think of them as, you can break apart the fractions and express them as multiples of a, of a smaller fraction. Uh, and that's a little hard to understand by words, but it'll be really simple once I get it on the board. Actually, I've been emphasizing this whole concept from the very first fraction lesson we've done. So when you look at this, you might think, oh, I already know that. Well, that's because I've been emphasizing it from the beginning to try to make it easier to understand. Let's just jump right in. Let's take the fraction 2 eighths. I've been telling you since we started that what this means is two pieces out of eight of a pizza. Cut a pizza into eight slices. That means every slice would be one eighth but you don't have one eighth, you have two eighths. So I've been teaching you to think of these slices of the pizza, like this is a slice of the pizza, to think of these slices as things that you count. You count them as you go around. This is one eighth. If you have two of them, it's two eighths, and then three eighths, and then four eighths. So you've been counting uh, these slices of the pizza, counting in eighths the whole time. So what I want to do to, to illustrate the point here is I want us to write this fraction two eighths, I want us to write it two different ways. The first way I want to write it as a multiplication equation or something involving multiplication. And then the second way we're going to write it in terms of addition. Uh, so we're going to write two different ways. Uh, we're going to write an equation with multiplication and an equation with, with uh, addition. It's going to be very, very simple. Let me ask you, two eighths. Let, it's going to be easier for us to get to the punchline and then go from there. For this one, for our multiplication equation, we can say that two eighths is equal to what? One eighth, but times two. That's what one eighth is. Times two, you get two eighths. So you can kind of like rip this apart and the two can go over as a whole number and the one eighth can come over here because remember, there's like an invisible being this over one. I can write this as two over one times one eighth. And when I multiply, one times two is two, one times eight is eight. So it makes perfect sense that I can say that this fraction is equal to the fraction 1 8 times 2. That's why it's called multiples. I want you to think of 2 eighths and 3 eighths and 4 eighths is just like multiplying 1 eighth times 2 or multiplying the fraction 1 eighth times 3 or whatever. This is called a multiple. And so I can show you that with a, uh, with a fraction or with a, with a model. We can say this is the fraction 2 eighths. That's what this is. This is the fraction 2 eighths. But I can write that as the fraction 1 eighth times 2, right? And that's another way of, of, of writing that. 1 eighth, the fraction 1 eighth times 2. The other way we want to write it is in terms of addition. We can say that 2 eighths is equal to, just like 2 times 1 eighth, we can write it as 1 eighth plus 1 eighth. Because remember, all multiplication can be written as addition. So these are the two answers. I'm going to give you a fraction and our goal is to write it as the multiplication of something and then also to write it as the addition of something. And every problem will be the same. This 2 eighths means the fraction 1 eighth times 2, just like this. And then we can also think of these as being just added together. 1 eighth plus 1 eighth gives you 2 eighths because if you add these, you keep the same denominator, add the numerators, you get the 2 eighths. If you multiply this, you multiply the tops, multiply the bottoms. Of course, the bottom is a 1 here, and so you get the same thing back. All right, now that all of that talking is out of the way, it's going to be much, much easier for us to just jump in and understand the rest. Let's write the fraction 4 fifths. We're going to write it two different ways. We're going to write it first as multiplication, uh, and then we're going to write it as addition. So 4 fifths. What does this mean? It means we have four pieces out of five. It means we have four slices, each of which is one-fifth. It means that we can take the fraction one-fifth, which is a small fraction, and we can multiply it times four, right? Four times one-fifth, because that's what we're doing. We're basically going and saying we have a fraction as one-fifth, and we replicate it, and we multiply it times four, and that's what four-fifths is. So let's take this. We have, uh, here we have, the fraction four fifths, there's one fifth, there's two fifths, there's three fifths, there's four fifths, there's the fraction four fifths. But that's the same thing as just taking the fraction one fifth and multiplying it times four. I guess I can flip this over like this. One fifth times four. The representing it this way, it's the same amount of pizza as uh, 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 when you, when you, kind of wrap it around like this, it's the same, it's exactly the same thing. Whether you spread it out or you put it into a circle is the same thing. 
this four fifths is the fraction one fifth times four. That's what four fifth is actually equal to. And we can also then write it in terms of addition. We can say that four fifths is going to be equal what? Thinking about this, we can say one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth, one, two, three, four times. Because multiplication is the same thing as adding the thing that many times. So this whole fraction, which is four fifths, can be thought of as one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth. That's all we're saying. It can also be thought of as one fifth times four. Same thing. So we circle all of these. All right, let's take a look at problem number three. What about the fraction five sixths? How do we write that as multiplication and how do we write it as addition? Well, what we're saying here is that we have the, the fraction five six can be written as five times the fraction one sixth. And if you can think about it, if you think about five being five over one, then five times one is five, and the one that's down here, one times six is six. So this equation is true. And we can also write that five sixth is equal to one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth. One, two, three, four, five times. So we're just adding them together. So let's see if that makes sense in terms of sixth. Let's put the fraction on the board. There's one sixth. There's two sixths. We'll add that. There's three sixths. There's four sixths. And then of course we have five sixths. All we're saying here is whether or not I keep it tucked into a circle like this, or if I spread it out, if I add all of these sixths together, it equals the five sixths. Or if I take one six times five, it equals what we already know five six to be. So I want you to start thinking of fractions as, yes, it's five out of six slices, but it's also like taking one sixth and just adding it to itself that many times or multiplying times that many uh, numbers there. So that's all we're trying to do in this lesson. Let's take a look at the fraction 5 twelfths. Let's write it as multiplication first. Well, we can say 5 twelfths is the same thing as 1 twelfth, right, multiplied by 5. Right, because if I put, it, put this over 1, it would be 5 times 1 is 5, and then 1 down here times 12 is 12. So this is how to write it as a multiplication. But also we can write it as what? 1 12th plus 1 12th plus 1 12th plus 1 12th. That's four times plus 1 12th. So we're basically doing the multiplication. We're representing it as addition. And if you add these fractions together, the denominator will be the same. And you'll add all the ones and you'll get 5 uh, twelfths. So we can do the same thing. Here's 1 twelfth, 2 twelfths, 3 twelfths, 4 twelfths, 5 twelfths. That's what we, it's five out of 12 pieces. But we can also represent it as being 1 12th just, mul just multiplied by five. It's a multiple. This fraction 5 12th is a multiple of the fraction 1 12th. It's just the smaller fraction 1 12th replicated and multiplied times five. So it's a multiple of this smaller fraction. It's like the smaller fraction's the core fraction, and then we make it a multiple of this by multiplying by five, and it becomes then five twelfths. Or you can think of it as addition, one twelfth plus one twelfth plus one twelfth plus one twelfth plus one twelfth. All right, how many more do we have? Only two more. How do we write the fraction two fourths in terms of uh, multiplication? We can write that as the fraction one fourth times two or two times one fourth, however you want to write it. Because this two is really two over one, and then two times one is two, and then the one times four is four. So it's like taking the smaller fraction one fourth and just multiplying by two. That's what the larger fraction is. And we can also represent that as simple uh, addition. We can say it's one fourth plus one fourth. We, so it's, we do it two times and add them together. So the fraction two fourths is this. This is the fraction two fourths, two out of four pieces. It's the same thing as saying, here's the fraction one fourth times two. That equals two fourths. Or the fraction one fourth plus one fourth, that equals the two fourths. So this uh, concept should be pretty familiar now because as we've been going through this, I've been kind of emphasizing this without really saying it. Last problem, 
4 tenths. Let's write it as a multiplication. Well, we can say that that's 1 tenth times 4. Because if this were 4 over 1, 4 times 1 is 4, 1 times 10 is 10. We can also represent 4 tenths as 1 tenth, since it's times 4, 1 tenth, we'll just add it 4 times, plus 1 tenth, plus 1 tenth, plus 1 tenth. Let's see if that makes sense. What I'm saying here is that we have 1 tenth from here, 1 tenth from here, and 1 tenth from here, and 1 tenth from here, and if we add all of these together, we get the fraction 4 tenths. That's all we're saying. Same thing as thinking about it in multiplication. This larger fraction, 4 tenths, is just equal to one of these small ones and multiplying it times the top number, times 4. So it's not 1 tenth, it's 4 tenths because we've multiplied the small fraction times 4. So here in this lesson, we're just trying to get you to think about fractions in different ways. Yes, it is 4 out of 10 slices of a pizza, but it can also be thought of as 1 tenth multiplied by 4, or 1 tenth plus 1 tenth plus 1 tenth plus 1 tenth. We can think about fractions in different ways, and sometimes the different ways we think about them are helpful in different, in different problems. So I'd like you to practice these yourself. When you feel like you understand it, follow me on to the next lesson. We're going to give you a little bit more practice with this concept.